Hello everyone, my name is Ignacio, I'm a professional poker player and pack developer for hand to note This is a video demonstration for the Smart Research, it's a professional set of pop-ups for doing mass database analysis and steady player pool tendencies. So we are here in the main hand to note window, you have to go to this menu and go to range research. This is the range research window, which is a very powerful feature that hand to notes includes. Um, as you can see, there are different folders with different reports inside. For example, in the general folder that includes all pop-ups, we have different profiles. We have different reports for different profiles. For example, we have all regulars. And in this report, we can study all regulars, all regs with a win rate higher than five. So in this report, we can filter and study the best regulars in your database. All the fishes with BBAP higher than 30 and agro fishes with uh, Wawens of flop higher than 50. And also regs with uh, Wawens of flop less than 45. So the same for the preflop, we have open race report. Uh, if if you want to study only preflop, open race and versus race first in, how would players react um, versus an open race, how much they are three betting, call calling, um, calling a four bet, etc. And different single reports for uh, different different actions. So when you buy this package, you will have include all these ready-made reports that you can start using. They are very good for start using the range research and this pop-up. And of course, you can create your own reports by clicking here. You can create a report, for example, um, let's say all players, all players. We can select for different rooms or for all rooms, the alias, base stat, if reg or fish, uh, BPP, preflop brace, BPP, preflop brace, gap, uh, percentage of limp and number of hands. This is up to you. But let's take a look um, in the pop-up inside. All right, so we are now in all regs report. So this is a, this is the result for this report. Basically, I filter here all the regulars in my database, and this pop-up is divided in these six sections or tabs. The first one is the general. You can visualize all, all general stats like BPP, preflop race, number of hands, uh, the win rate, showdown stats, and pretty basic preflop stats. And then you have open race. And now it's divided in very for different actions. We have the preflop. This is a table for different preflop stats uh, as open racer. Yeah, because we, we are in the open race section. So for example, we can take a look the race first in for MP1, that is uh, UTG under the gun for six max. It's an 18. That means that the average regulars are opening 18% from under the gun. If we hover over this stat, we can visualize a lot of more information. We have a preflop matrix and visualize how the range is composed. We have next actions. This is fold, call, and raise. This is basically against the three bet, the next actions after the players open raises. The next action or is uh, a three bet. So you can see that the average regs in under the gun are 
holding 50% against the trivet, calling a 35% and raising or betting 15% and in the flop they are betting 51% and checking 49. This is very nice to have because we we can be quickly visualize these values and take note of that for our conclusions and our studies. We can also visualize the stat value, the race, total, obviously is 18 because they are not limping in under the gun. Versus hero is kind of irrelevant because we are working uh, with rain research, we are working with larger and very, very big database. So it's kind of different. Um, the percentage of one hand went to showdown and one money to showdown. And we can visualize different bet sizings for opening 2x, 2.2, 2.5, 3, 3.5x and 4x. Also, we, if we hover over these stats, we can see how the range is composed. This is very cool. And also have all next actions for different sizing. This is really nice and bet and check also for the flow. It's a ton of data in all stat. I mean, you can access to all this information in one single stat. And we have action profit here. We can see the next villain actions, all con and race. This is uh, basically the response of uh, the population against an open race in under the gun. They're folding 29, calling 48% and raising 22. And the action profit total for this is 0 0.81. And action profit details for different group of hands. For example, Ace Queen and Jacks Plus, uh, the premium section sector, uh, Queen Jack Plus, Pocket Eight Plus. We have the BB per hundred values. We can see that off suited weak aces are losing 2.09 big blinds. This is very logical because it's not a good idea to open. Um, off suite weak aces in under the gun and also for different sizings this is really nice because this work in every preflop stats okay so for example if we hover our button open raise we can access to the same and for example the forward not all in in button we have the same the four bet all in in small blind. You can study different um, the different response in all in this preflop table. And then we have all situations that can happen in an open race. Um, basically, the single race at bots in position and out of position. Trivet as color in position and out position. For vetor in position, for vetor off the position versus a squeeze and versus call for vetor. Let's take a look at uh, this uh, single race spot in position. We have um, the three main tabs. We have the total. Here we can study the totals of uh, this action, how much the population is betting in this spot, in a single race spot. As racers in position, the best checks behind and how they, re they react against a dunk bet. We can study multi-way. This is heads up and this is multi-way. And also we have here sizing distribution for bet, the total in position. We have uh, this group of bets uh, filtered by sizing. This is all bets less than 40% of the pot. I mean, all basically all the small bets. Uh, here we have bets with uh, 40 and 60% of the pot. 
bed sizing and beds for 60 to 80 percent of flop beds this is really cool because we can for example if we see the flop seabed is 69 this means that the the 69 is a preserved percentage of seabedding of regulars in a single reset pod when they are in position if we hover over this 69 we can access to the the post flop diagram we have the next actions for this stat we can visualize with this complete diagram it contains 55 percent of weak hands we can visualize how the range is the range com range composition when to showdown and one money showdown versus hero one hand we can see for different bed sizings, filter for different bed size, next actions, same as preflop, and study the CVs in different boards. The, this board classification are explained in the, um, in the user guide manual for um, smart research. We can, you can find it here, I'm gonna show you now. This is the, the board textures in the glossary section. AVX is Ace Broadway X um, texture. Ace XX, triple Broadway, two Broadway flop, one Broadway flop, T to nine high connecting boards. And we have some examples of some boards. All this information is here in this uh, user guide. but we have a ton of statistics in one stat this is crazy <laughs> we have the action profit details the post flop diagram with um, the range distribution so this is really nice we can filter also by position how they play in position in ep is under the gun EP is under the gun for 6 max and all the under the guns for 9 max, I mean full ring. We have uh, the same for MP and as you can see we have uh, additional preflop, a more detailed preflop information. Um, the call to 3-bed, 4 versus 3-bed, 4-bed, call to 5-bed, 4 versus 5-bed, 4-bed range. This is uh, more specific than the previous preflop tab. For example, M MP versus cutoff, they are for betting 17%, and we can access to the preflop diagram. This is really cool. Same for cutoff, button, and we also have the texture tab. In this, we have uh, the same the same flop boards, but here we can study them separately. This texture tab is only available for single racer, three vector, and four vector uh, actions because they are the more relevant situations that we can study with, uh, that we can study the, the different textures. For example, ASBX. That means Ace Broadway X boards, they are civeting 74%. We have obviously we have access to um, post flop diagram and see how this texture, how they play in this particular texture. And also in triple Broadway, they are civeting a little bit less. And in flops like 10 and 9 high. 10 and 9 high connected boards, they are civeting way less, only 53. So we, we can study different texture here. Monocolor, rainbow, etc. So for example, if we go to trivet color section, as you can see, we only have the total and by position tab and not versus, um, sorry, and not uh, the texture tab. This is because 
they are not relevant when we don't have initiative because we can simply filter by the total, for example, as trivet color in position. If we hover, we have the dot total false versus different sizings and in different boards. We have this information in all, all stats, for example, the, the races in position that is 7.8%. If we hover, we can visualize this and have access to bars and flop textures too. And obviously we can filter by position, AP, MP, cutoff, and button. This is the, the, the reason uh, because we, we don't include the texture tab in this in in these sections because um as i said before it's not relevant and the second reason is because overloading the pop-up with uh, a lot of statistics may cause problems in hand to node and of course we don't want that so don't worry about that because you have access to you will have access to totals and explore different stats for different actions and you will have by bet sizing boards action profit and post diagram for every stat uh, for the for better it is includes obviously because it's play with initiative but let's take um let's let's see an example of how can we study with this very powerful tool? For example, for the single reset bot in position, we want to see, um, for example, if we see the 69% and explore this range composition, it's not the same when they are betting a small bet than uh, a big bet. For example, one third contains 64% of weak hands and two tiers on three quarters bed contains only 30% of weak hands. That's a huge difference. Yeah, we can see uh, the next actions for each sizing, but we can study them separately. For example, if we go here, we have the small bets here, it's 43. We have the, the post flop, the extended pop up for this bet. And if we select the bigger bets, we can compare in this way. This is why this is here. We can have a better understanding, uh, an overview for different sizing and compare how they are. Uh, the the size behavior by sizing on um, in different textures. For example, the, there is a very huge difference. Most of rays are civetting small with a uh, bunch of trash and weak hands. You can see that they are folding forty three percent when they bet one third. And they are falling 29 against a check race. And we can study and do the same process for whatever spot we want to study. This is really cool. Yeah, we have versus open race in this section versus open race. We have the call calls, in position, of the position, three vector, both in position, four vet caller, squeezer, and call for vector. We have isolation tab, we have the totals of the position and in position. We can study in isolation beds and by total. We have the preflop tab, we have the preflop diagrams also. We have for MP, cutoff, bottom, small blind, big blind uh, for different against different positions versus isolation, how they play when they visualize. Um, an isolation race total in position of the position we can get a ton of information here 
And this is one of the most interesting um, sections that is the limb, because it is very important to know how to play against recreational players. But let's take a look in the all fish report. I have filtered here all recreationals with a um, BBP higher than 30 and limp um, more than 10%. So let's take a look to the result and how we can study the recreational players in your database. We go to the limp and for example, we can see that they are limp folding at average 22%. This is very low. Limp calling 74 and limping raise only 4%. For example, if we hover over this 22%, we can visualize this range and see different defaults against different isolation, isolation range. Uh, I'm sorry, isolation sizing. For example, they, they are folding only 30% against 3.5. 19 against 4 big blinds, 29 against 5, and so on. This is very useful. And yeah, we have in position how they react against the seabed, EP cutoff of the position, and small blind versus big blind. Here, I think it's very interesting and important to study the long bets. For example, the check call, check call, dunk bet is a pretty common spot. Uh, a lot of recreational players take this line. The value of this is 21, and we can study this and explore different runouts and see on which uh, runouts they are bluffing more or less. For example, when the when the turn is uh, completes the flash and they are still betting there are 43 weak hands so the idea of this uh, is to see where we can uh, make a, a profitable call or a profitable fall depending on the run out and also against different sizing so we can see that the small sizing contains a lot of weak hands and overbets not much. So of course we can bluff catch why more against small small sizings and see the range composition. This is very very useful. So yeah, this is how you can study with this very powerful tool. You can study whatever you want. In this pop-up, you have uh, a thousand and a thousand ton of statistics at your disposal to study whatever spot you want. You can create your own reports by clicking here, create your own folders, or using these ready-made reports. Uh, as I said, you can study whatever you want it's indeed a very powerful tool and I will leave the links in the video description. If you have any questions, PM me uh, on Discord or send me an email. So yeah, this is the, the smart research ranch package. Hope you, you find it very useful. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers.